Hi Leos, welcome to your mid-month reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always check what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below for the month of November. As usual, I have a special sales offer available. And for this month, it's inspired in the current Scorpio season we are on. It's called How Deep Is Your Love? And it's a reading that it's themed in um, the aspects of the depths of the love energy you're kind of experiencing right now in your life. Um, if you'd like to know more details about it, again, just read in the description box below where you can also find the full list of current reading services I offer. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So, Leos, this might not be the best period when it comes to love experiences. Not to say that uh, you're not going to have anything positive happening in terms of love. I just feel like there's a lot going on in your life that... Um, takes center stage right now and love does not seem to be it especially because whatever is your current situation it feels like it's a very you know difficult one so you're choosing to actually walk away a little bit detach a little bit from love energies to focus on something where you feel you have more control or just more good influence there's something about negative and negative influence really dominating how love has been manifesting in your life regardless of you being single of you being in a committed relationship or just having a here a person of interest dating it's not the best time because i feel like there's a lot um here that is a reflection of a certain change and upgrade that you're experiencing. So it's like you're going through actually a lot of um, changes of perspective of your whole self and your whole life. For some of you could be having even um, a little bit of a like a, a crisis, an identity crisis where you don't recognize certain things anymore in yourself or you don't recognize others um, as you used to or you don't identify yourself with certain things that you used to so there's a lot of changes going with you that are profound you know it's not just like minor changes it's big 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 core changes and it's a slow process that has been happening with you but I feel like as we're getting into November and the end of the year overall I feel like there's this notion that you need to stop a little bit and contemplate and just be still and focus on other things and let love like it's like let love um change with you right so it's like if a relationship is giving you a hard time it's like you're choosing to allow it to allow to happen what it needs to happen basically and to not interfere. I feel like some of you are having this amazing ability to not react or to not interfere with a process that is actually very difficult for you or very intense. But it's like you're detaching because you know that it's out of your hands. There's that feeling of something being out of your hands also. It could be that not only you are going through a lot of changes, but also the person... Um, your person of interest is as well. I feel like there are cases here where, again, you you want to go in towards a path or you want to move into a direction and this person of interest wants to move in a different one. And I also feel like just things just, you know, of your own life and this person's life individually that are very it's like absorbing right now and so it's hard to invest in the relationship as maybe both of you would like for others of you there's just a feeling of drifting away from a person of interest so for those of you that have been dating like you could 
naturally drift away from someone or feel like someone is also drifting away from you, distancing yourself from you. There's a sense of emotional disconnection or distancing that it's quite um, strong here. Um, for those that, if, for those of you that are in a committed relationship, again, you and your partner can be feeling like you're distant, distant from each other. And there can be a challenge here with tower eruption energy also where you, both of you might end up having a big fight that can lead to a breakup or a separation or it can lead just to a standstill, all right? Not knowing what to do, what's next. So again, waiting for a resolution, for a divine inter inter intervention, for a sign to inspire you, to enlighten you in terms of what's the solution here. For those of you that are in a relationship and you and, you and your partner are going through a difficult period, again, Moon November continues to bring this theme. This theme. This, there, there doesn't seem to be like an active resolution of anything, solving anything. It's like a continuation of problems that maybe you already have with your partner. Um, but that there's, there's that feeling of the advice here is to just, you know, give each other room and space. To have that enlightenment, to have that, to have that space to understand things from a more um, detached perspective. There's something here also about time because time here seems to be something like let this time more apart also show you what it needs, what it, what you need to know. And this also applies for those of you that feel like a person has been walking away or getting too distant or cold from you. Let time show you. It's not going to take too much time here, but it's like there's a, there's a lesson here about you surrendering to something that it's beyond your control. So you can take this as it resonates depending obviously in your current... Um, your current love situation but it applies to any kind of status you have it's just a feeling of letting letting it be for the now letting things happen in its own timing for others of you you're quite you have a lot of repressed emotions here it's like you're quite blocked when it comes again to love matters and i feel like um you have tried to work a little bit here on your insecurities or on your own issues for some of you but you chose to leave it alone there's something here about you not understanding yourself when it comes to love you know maybe your own behaviors your own mechanisms um, there's something here about you not understanding your own self at times and i feel like again you're choosing with the ten of wands also in your unconscious you're choosing for the time being for things to be you see that there's a feeling of sacrifice here, but there's this light coming in. Again, there's this enlightenment that will come in due time for Leos. That will make you understand what you still don't. Um, there's a sense of mystery and even enigma here for some of you Leos when it comes to your life, love life. Being that you're wondering about a person or just in general, um, there's a sense of mystery with yourself. I feel like also the mystery that you see outside is a reflection of this mystery inside of you. Is this specific something in you that you can't decipher or you can't understand. Um, the challenge being the tower again, things are going to change. And I also feel like there's going to be a lot of insights, powerful insights coming to you. So like... You can, out of the blue, understand that you don't want to be with someone anymore. Or out of the blue, um, even though I feel like this is for a, a small group, but out of the blue, just leave whatever conditions have stopped you or stopped you from actually moving in the right direction to attract the love you want. It's just a very sudden energy of release. And in this release, there can be like abrupt events taking place, such as fights, conflicts, um, disturbances, right? With you in particular, internal disturbances, agitation that makes you move in a direction 
uh, but I feel like for the majority of you, it's like it's going to make you actually move out of something. So this is particularly for those of you that are in relationships. And it could just, just be like, um, for some of you, it's like you and your partner can have like a temporary break, come to terms that you need to be on a, um, on a break from each other for a while. Or you can just again suddenly decide to leave. Because the Six of Swords is an energy that needs to move to heal after conflict, right? To find peace of thoughts, to know what to do, to know, you know, what's coming next. Uh, where to direct is the thoughts next. Uh, and it, it's something, it's an energy that speaks also about detaching from expectations and, you know, outcomes so because what's going to be shown to you it's very different from what was originally thought you see the upside down influence so it's like you're going to see things in a very different way it's going to be shown to you a different side to yourself to someone and to love in general you're going to see things very differently from this point forward so i hope you have a great mid-month and hopefully we'll see each other soon.